The United Kingdom will allocate more than £8 billion to reinforce its submarine production sector, planning to finance an expansion of its fleet of nuclear-powered attack submarines to more than double its current size. This funding directly supports the construction of up to 12 new conventionally armed, nuclear-powered attack submarines under the SSN AUKUS program, a trilateral initiative with the United States and Australia. These submarines are set to replace the British Royal Navy's current seven astute-class ship submersible nuclears starting in the late 2030s and are positioned to become the future backbone of the UK's underwater warfare force. Astute-class attack submarines are estimated cost the Ministry of Defense over $2 billion each, and when accounting for both inflation and the much higher projected costs of next-generation ships with new generations of propulsion, quieting, communications and weapons technologies, the SSN AUKUS ships are expected to cost well over $3 billion each. Overall, the plan to field a fleet of 12 SSN AUKUS nuclear-powered attack submarines is likely to cost well over $40 billion, excluding the tens of billions more in operational costs over the fleet's lifetime, as the ships are each expected to cost well over $100 million per year. Compared to Astute class, the SSN AUKUS is expected to be larger, with a displacement over 10,000 tons submerged, surpassing the Virginia class. It will also include payload modules for vertical launch of missiles, medium-sized unmanned undersea vehicles, and seabed sensors, a feature not found in the Astute class. Compared to Virginia class, the SSN AUKUS will share a significant amount of commonality with the Virginia class, including the combat system, sensors, and weaponry. Plans for a more than twofold of the attack submarine fleet reflects part of a broader trend towards efforts to tremendously expand British warfighting capabilities, with a particular focus on maritime and aerial power projection assets. The new SSN AUKUS class will integrate advanced stealth technologies, vertical launch systems for long-range cruise missiles, sophisticated sonar suites, and unlimited operational endurance through nuclear propulsion. Designed primarily by BAE systems and incorporating American combat systems and Rolls-Royce power plants, the new submarines will be constructed at Barrow and Furness and will significantly expand Britain's ability to operate globally. This effort is part of the broader AUKUS security partnership, created to counter rising naval threats in the Indo-Pacific and strengthen allied maritime deterrence. The United Kingdom currently operates a total of 10 nuclear-powered submarines. These include four Vanguard-class ship submersible ballistic nuclears, forming the country's continuous at-sea nuclear deterrent, each armed with up to 16 UGM-133A Trident 2D-5 missiles capable of carrying multiple MIRV warheads. The tactical fleet includes six ship submersible nuclears, one Trafalgar class, and five astute class submarines, all equipped with 533mm torpedo tubes, Tomahawk Block 4 or 5 land attack cruise missiles, and Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes. The astute class, while relatively modern, will begin to phase out by the late 2030s, necessitating the SSN AUKUS replacement. The submarine force plays a critical strategic role for the UK. It offers unique capabilities for nuclear deterrence, intelligence gathering, covert surveillance, and precision strikes. In a security environment increasingly dominated by Russian and Chinese naval expansion and cyber threats to undersea infrastructure, maintaining and expanding undersea warfare dominance has become a core pillar of British defense strategy. Submarines also serve as key assets for NATO operations in the Atlantic and Arctic, providing both strategic reach and interoperability with allies. The SSN AUKUS submarines are designed not only to enhance sovereign defense capability, but also to align the UK with long-term allied force structure goals, particularly in the Indo-Pacific, where deterrence against adversarial submarine operations is becoming a priority. 
The first British SSN AUKUS boat is expected to enter service in the late 2030s, with serial production continuing well into the 2040s. This program complements the ongoing £31 billion Dreadnought-class SSBN program, which will take over the nuclear deterrent role from the Vanguard class beginning in the early 2030s. The Royal Navy hasn't ruled the waves in a very long time. Yet, this week, UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer unveiled a long-awaited 130-page 2025 Strategic Defense Review, which, among other new programs, calls for a dozen nuclear-powered fast-attack submarines to help defend British interests, serve as force projection around the world, and support NATO efforts. While speaking from Clyde's side in Scotland on Monday, Starmer vowed to invest £15 billion in the UK's nuclear weapons program to address Russia and China's dual threat. That included building a full dozen new nuclear-powered attack submarines. The Prime Minister vowed to make the UK war-ready within two years. Beyond the AUKUS submarine, the Strategic Defense Review called for constructing at least six new ordnance facilities and adopting a hybrid Royal Navy that employs unmanned systems, including drones, alongside crewed warships, submarines and aircraft. Starmer has vowed that the Ministry of Defense budget will reach 3% of GDP by 2024. Key to the Strategic Defense Review is the construction of 12 next-generation SSN AUKUS nuclear-powered submarines, which are being jointly developed by Australia, the UK, and the US as part of the trilateral AUKUS security partnership arrangement. Australia has already committed to spending billions to support the development of future nuclear-powered submarines. That investment will fund the construction of new shipyards, factories, and docks domestically and in the UK. Canberra pledged $3.1 billion in 2024 to help clear bottlenecks at the Rolls-Royce nuclear reactor production line. The United Kingdom and Australia aren't shy about expressing their concern that Washington could scuttle the trilateral program. The US President Donald Trump had expressed concerns about the effort during its development in his first term. Trump also continues to support the isolationist America First agenda. The submarines are still at least a decade away, but concern remains about how effectively they could move forward without U.S. involvement. 